Hey, this is Jim Edwards, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic web page using the Enview editor, uh, which is actually free. You can go to Enview.com, and there are actually two versions. There's the Enview, which used to be Mozilla, which used to be part of Netscape. And you can use that one, or you can use Composer. Composer, I think, is a little bit more updated, and that's the one that I actually use. So you can click on either one and use either one. They're very similar, but I would recommend going to the composer.net site and then downloading it uh, for Windows. And they've kept it pretty updated. The last update was in December of 2009. But uh, I've used this and I've taught people to use this. And so that's why I recommend it. If you're looking for a free web HTML editor, I I like this one. I prefer to use front page, but they stopped using front page or they stopped making front page. So anyway, after you download it, you'll unzip it. And then once you unzip it, the only thing that I don't like about it is that you actually don't get an installed file. You get a whole bunch of files and you have to know which one to actually go in and click on. And so I'm going to show you a little trick. So once you've downloaded and unzipped it, what you can do is you'll see a whole bunch of files in the folder. And what you can do is on your desktop, right mouse click, drag this over to your desktop, and then left click, create shortcut here. Then when you double click this, it'll start the composer software and it'll ask you it's you're just running a self-contained file right here and you say okay and that'll start the composer software so now that we have composer open let me show you some of the basics and how you can actually create a real HTML page that you can upload relatively quickly now one thing I will tell you right up front is this is going to be a basic, very basic little HTML page. And that's why I recommend in Minisite Creator that you use templates, especially when you're getting started. We provide a bunch of different templates and you can find templates out on the internet. But by using a template you can massively increase the speed with which you can get things done and you can really make it look good. But I just want to show you the basics here and how to use this tool. So let's go ahead and type some text in here so that we can mess around with it. So I'll just type in some stuff. Here is a picture of my latest DVD product available on Amazon.com and you can get a copy for yourself or a friend. Click here for more and good enough. Okay, so once you typed in some text, uh, you are probably going to want to change some attributes. So one of the first things you're going to want to do when you have a headline and when you're making web pages, H1 tags are tags that the search engines pay a lot of attention to. So you can highlight what's going to be the title of your page. And you can come up here to this pull-down menu and choose Heading 1. And you'll see it changes the attributes of that particular line of text. And so next thing you might want to do is actually... Uh, highlight some text you'll see that and then you can bold it you can make it italics you can even underline it though I don't recommend underlining a whole lot of text on the web because people get confused as to whether it is a clickable link in that case so what we may <coughs> want to do is make this bold and then we'll highlight it and then another thing you can do is use yellow highlighter choose the highlight tool choose yellow click OK and that will let you highlight your text and another thing that you'll probably want to be able to do is do bullets and I'm just gonna 
copy that, control C, control V, control V. And you can either create bullets or you can do numbers with that. And then you can indent that text left or right that way. And then what you're probably going to want to be able to do is insert a picture. I'm going to go ahead and remove these bullets, and I'll show you why in just a sec. But let's say we want to insert a picture, and we have a picture of a DVD. So, and also there's a difference here between body text and paragraph text. Paragraph text will automatically create space between lines when you're formatting as opposed to body text which will not and so you just need to be aware of that I actually prefer the paragraph text but that's one thing sometimes you'll start switching back and forth and not even realize that that's happening so you just need to be careful of that so what we're gonna do is go ahead and insert a picture and so you position it where you want the picture to be or where you want the upper left of the picture to be when you first insert it. And then you click on the image button right here. And then what you're going to do is click on this choose file button. We're going to go in the 30 day video challenge. And I made one. Here we go. Uh, this is the one. And then it's going to ask you for alternate text and that's it's good to use that because again the search engines will look at this so we'll just call this brainstorming DVD and we click OK now one thing you'll notice is that it's in here but what if I want all the text to run out to the side of it so we can right mouse click on it we can left click image properties we can go to appearance and first we want to align text wrap I think it's wrap yeah wrap to the right it'll show you where the text will go and then also we want to give it a little bit of a margin see how this H is right up next to that so I'll put a 5 in left and right click OK now all of a sudden the text is running down the left hand or running to the right of the picture the pictures to the left and what you'll notice is this text right here is if you had a really cool template and you were putting this in even if you were doing it in WordPress it looked fine I mean now we're just talking about putting text on a page so that's why I point out the template stuff now watch when I do the bullets though the bullets are going on top of the image and that's why you got to be really careful when you do bullets and see that left and right's not doing it so you gotta be careful when you do bullets to the right of images now one thing we could do to get these bullets over here in a way that uh, would work is we could right click on the image go to appearance and try increasing the space and that'll fix it as well now, one of the next things you're going to want to be able to do is you're going to want to be able to create a link going to another site. And so what we'll want to do is grab that link actually from our browser bar. Now, if we go to Amazon.com and we search for brainstorming DVD. 